We're doing the campus travel assignment here. We have done part one, part two, part three. We just finished importing the CSV files into MySQL. And now we are going to use phpMyAdmin to uh, actually specify, get more specific with the field types. Uh, we have our agent table here and we need to set the agent ID to an auto increment field. We have to make sure that it's an integer, not size limited. Uh, we have to make sure it's set to a primary key. Uh, we have to also set the office key to an index because we're going to use that as a foreign key. Uh, we need to uh, specify the primary keys for all of the tables and indexes for the sale ID or for the sale table. We need to uh, make sure that sale date is a date and the amount uh, can be a uh, currency number. Uh, we want to uh, make sure the bar chart, the, the sizes for these names and so on, are uh, the sizes are big enough. Uh, once we're done with setting all that up, we're going to set up the relationships between the tables. Uh, the agent in the agent table, the office key is a is a foreign key into the office table, and uh, the sale table has got two of them. Its sale table is connected to the agents and to the destinations. So let's get started. If we go back to our PHP My Admin here. Uh, and open it up. We see we've got our database here. Let's start by uh, looking at agent. Uh, let's click on structure for agent. And we see that uh, uh, we first are going to set the primary key. So we go over here and for the agent ID click primary. OK. And uh, we also have to set the office key to a index. Now, uh, you see that the index button appears for me right here. It's possible that your index button does not appear. You see if I make this wider, uh, it only goes to unique. So you roll your mouse over the more and you will find index. And so click index there. And uh, let's put this back. Uh, now, uh, when we click on structure again, we can confirm that our indexes have been set up. When we click this indexes link here, we see we've got the agent ID as our primary, and we've got the office key also as an index. So, uh, so those have been set up. Now, we need to go in and let's remove the size restriction. So let's change the, let's click change for agent ID. And here's where we can remove the size restriction on the integer. Uh, we want there to be none for default. And over here is where we can check this auto increment. That's what AI stands for. Click auto increment and click save. And now we see that the agent ID is, uh, the default is integer 11 and we have auto increment. For the agent name, we see that the Size is only 20. Let's change that to 50. And uh, we do not want that to be null ever. So click Save. And for the office key, let's change that to remove the size uh, restriction. Uh, we don't want that to be null. Either. Click Save. And uh, that completes the adjustments that we need to make for agent. So let's do destination. Click we, over here. We can click destination. Let's click structure. And let's first set the primary key for destination ID. And uh, there are no indexes in here, so we don't need to do that. Uh, let's uh, now set up this as auto increment. Click change. Remove the size restriction. Change the default to none. And click the auto increment checkbox. Save. For the destination name, it's set to uh, maximum size 11. 
let's change that to 50. And we do not want the destination name to be null. Save. Okay, uh, next let's do office. Similar. Nothing special about office. Click office. And uh, click structure. Make the office ID be a primary key. No indexes. Let's uh, change the office ID. Removing the size restriction. We do not want a default. And we click the auto implement checkbox. Click save. For the office location, let's increase the size of that to 50. And uh, let's not allow, allow a null location name. Okay, the last change we need to do is for sale, we need to set up the primary key as auto increment. We need to change the sale date to a date if it's not. We need to set the agent key as an index. We need to change the amount format so it can accept uh, cents. And the destination key is also an index. So let's go back here. Let's click on sale over here. And click on structure. And uh, let's start by making this primary. And let's make the agent key be an index. And let's make the destination key be an index. And now let's make uh, the further adjustments. Sale ID. We can remove the size restriction. We do not want a default. And uh, auto increment is checked. Click save. Sale ID is still a variable character string. So let's change that. And we could just change this to date. And uh, there will be a default. The sales date cannot be null. Click save. And the agent key, let's uh, remove the size restriction. And I suppose uh, there can be a sale without an agent. So let's uh, leave the null. OK. And for the amount, it's an integer. It's a four-digit integer. Let's change that to a decimal that is 11 characters, 11 digits, and two decimal places. So that's 11, comma, 2. And uh, let's say that we do not want a null amount. So click Save. So now, amount decimal comma two, and for the destination key, let's click change, and we can remove the size restriction, and I guess uh, we can have a sale without a destination. So let's just click save, and uh, so now we see that all of the fields are set up, the types are set up. Uh, if we click structure again and click on indexes, we see that we have the three indexes set up. So that looks like that's set up. Uh, what's the last step we need to do is we need to set up the relationships. Uh, office, the agent is, agent's office key is connected to the office, office ID. And uh, same sale, we're going to do agents and destinations. Destinations. So click on, uh, let's go to agent. And uh, click on Structure. And down below the list of fields, down below this line here, there's this link, Relation View, right here next to Print View. Click Relation View. And uh, the second field here, this Office Key, click down on that and find Office, Office ID. And uh, we can leave the constraint name blank because it will fill one in. And, uh, we we want to restrict deletes uh, on updates. We want to cascade the updates. If the office ID uh, 
the office ID should change, we want those updates to cancel. So let's uh, save that. And uh, let's go to sale and click on structure. And down below, click on relation view. And uh, leave the sale ID alone uh, for agent key. Set that to agent agent ID. And uh, we can cascade updates. And for destination key, set that to destination destination ID. And we also want to cascade updates. And now we can click save. And uh, so now all of the all of the relationships have been set up. Uh, the field types are set. So we are done with part five.